there's quite a story behind these water-filled balls of mesmerizing fascination. Snow globe's been around since, I'd say, the late 19th century. They got their start in Europe, and they were very custom-made and expensive. Who gave birth to the snow globe? Erwin Percy, a supplier of medical equipment, and he was asked to magnify or brighten the lights in operating rooms for surgeries. And he took inspiration from the glass balls that shoemakers used to do their work, where they filled them with water and held them in front of a candle, and that kind of magnified or provided a spotlight. And what is the snow itself made of, usually? Today it's this plastic flex. They call it in the business flitter. And they became a particular sensation because there's a movie called Citizen Kane. Orson Welles holds a snow globe in his hand and says a word. That snow globe part is the part that sticks in people's minds. Uh, I'm sorry, did you say something? I'm just so mesmerized <laughs> by this.